Good morning. E Cairo. That's a good afternoon. Yeah, e Cairo is good morning, right? E Cairo. Yeah. E is good afternoon. Yeah. 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 A random Nigerian man has kidnapped us and yeah. brought us to Echo Atlantic. Yeah. And right now, I'm just kidding. I'm, just, I'm asking him for a ransom. <laughs> <laughs> Two million dollars. Yeah. Two million dollars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're supposed to keep like a serious face as we're doing that. <laughs> But anyway, now. Nah. Uh, we, we, we give it up. We yeah, <laughs> you might know this guy, he's Tayo Enna. But anyway, look What's him up. What's up, people? What's happening? He makes good videos. And uh, behind us, we have Echo Atlantic. So what's special about Echo Atlantic, Tayo Enna? Echo Atlantic is it was it's a city that was reclaimed from the ocean. So everything you're seeing now was this was just the ocean before. This ocean you're seeing here was this whole place before. And then it was Sandfield, and now a new city is being built on it. So. It was a solution to help stop this water from affecting Lagos. That's the biggest story, because there was a lot of water coming in from the Atlantic Ocean and it was like almost flooding the city. So they came up with the idea, what about building a city that acts like a, a barrier to break it? And also then, they came up with all of this stuff. Yeah. High rise buildings. So it's the future, it's the future of Lagos. This is the, the future yeah. of Lagos. Yes. Ah. Okay. Yes. I already like it. So <laughs> you already like it. I feel like I'm not going anywhere. I'm, I'm staying here. <laughs> yeah. So that is what we're exploring today. We're exploring the future of Lagos. And uh, is there anywhere to get a beer here? Yeah. You go to that building to get a beer. This is one of the first completed buildings. This is like a residential, like some of the richest people live in there because the apartments okay. are pretty expensive. And okay. I do a lot of real estate on my channel. So okay. if you're living there, you are, you got the big bucks. <laughs> does, uh, does, does Aliko Dangote live here? No, no, he doesn't live here. He lives okay. in another part of the world. Okay. Yeah. okay, some other rich people live here. Some other billionaires. All right, let's get to it. How do you say let's go in Europe? As a Carlo. Ajikalo. Ejekalo. 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 Let's Ejekalo. go. Ejekalo. <laughs> this is so just incredibly bizarre. <laughs> like, in Nigeria, you just get used to the idea that you're constantly surrounded by a ton of people. Doesn't matter what time of the day it is. Doesn't matter if the curfew is going. Doesn't matter where you are. There's just a lot of people around. And now to just be here, surrounded by a ton of nothingness that hasn't been built yet, that's kind of weird. I'm not sure if this is the way in. Let's just follow these kids up. Something different, something no one has ever seen. Yeah, before. yeah, that yeah. So, so that's their plan. Yeah, that's their plan. That's oh. Their plan. That's crazy. Oh. That's the guy I know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Oh, I know him. I you know, know him. him. Oh my god, maybe you should go and say hi. <laughs> I, uh, I thought that is that not Drubinsky? No, no, no that no. one is uh, Sabatiko. Oh, you know Sabatiko? I, I know. <laughs> I, I thought it was uh, Drubinsky or something like that. <laughs> okay, <yeah. laughs> oh, hey. Oh, yeah. Bawani. Yeah, Dada. <laughs> All of a sudden, we're in the fanciest building in Lagos. I think they only even have Budweiser here. They only have Budweiser here. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Echo Atlantic, I'm trying to say good things about you. About where? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had a Budweiser in about 
at least 10 years, I think. But that's about to change. Can you say that again? Guinea or Rukwe? How did you feel when he asked you your name? The white guy speaking your name. I've just been like so unintentionally American on this entire trip. Okay, like posing in front of KFC. <laughs> Oh, I have no Drink it, Budweiser. <laughs> there you go. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Just living this Nigerian high life right here, drinking Budweiser. <laughs> Just so you know, if you come to Nigeria, this is considered the high end beer. Okay? <laughs> this is what the rich and famous drink in Lagos when you're sitting on top of a goddamn building. <laughs> See, see, this dude is so much more professional than me. He's setting up like a time lapse on the other table so that he can edit it later. I'm not ready for that yet. I'm trying all Josie is drinking beer for the first time in her life. What? <laughs> or maybe the second time. It's okay. This like uh, nail. Yeah. Oh, you've not taken beer before. <laughs> Yeah, she doesn't really drink. Oh, I don't drink. I've never taken beer, but I don't drink. I said, Tayo, how many Nigerians, as a percentage, do you think can afford to come to a place like this? Hmm. Maybe 20%. 20%? Okay. That's higher than I was thinking. 20, 15%. Okay. Because this is like completely designed as like a 1% kind of place. Yeah, it is. It is designed like that, but like this beer we're drinking now, this is like uh, probably like a four dollar beer, okay. I believe, which is on the high side for a lot of people. Like this same beer, you could buy it outside for like one dollar or less than that. Okay. But just it's about like five hundred like, naira. Yeah, five hundred naira. Yeah, each five hundred naira each. So. Okay. So why is it why is it twenty fifteen percent? Because when you say afford, it depends on like coming here on a regular basis, maybe like five percent. But with maybe a special location, maybe like 15 to 20 percent. Okay. 15 to 20 percent. Okay. Yeah. So it's like wide enough where you know you got a little bit of money, you can come over here, you can take away. your Instagram pictures, exactly, and uh, yeah, you can go back home. Yeah, you can go back You're not necessarily home. gonna like stay in the building. Nah. This massive need, thing up here. <laughs> you need to be ready to spend a lot of money because the night is like 500 bucks. 500 bucks. Yeah. 500, 400 bucks. Yeah. For a night, it's two bedroom apartment. Yeah. That's where you stay if you're trying to impress somebody. All right. Problem solved. Yeah. So, how long do you think it will take for this? entire area to be finished. How long will it take for Echo Atlantic to be finished? I don't know because it's a city so just like the way they built Dubai it's going yeah. to take a while because you know the whole the land is here now so people need to build on top of the land so I don't I can't really say how long it's going to take but it's a city so imagine how long it takes to build a city usually in Africa it takes a while so no. I can't really estimate I don't know what do you think? <laughs> I mean, it started in like what, 2007? Yeah, and I think around that time. Here we are in about 2021. Yeah. And it's, what do you think it is? Like maybe 20% done? Um, well, at least the land is here now. Yeah. So now people just need to buy the land and build on top of it. So I think the infrastructure is in place. It's just for investors to come and build on top of it, which we're hoping they'll do. So if you're out there and watching this video and you want to invest in Lagos, Nigeria, come here and come and invest. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You got big money, then come over here to Lagos, start building something. Like, why do you have this uh, immigration thing? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my pop, my pops was was in, in immigration, so I collected this from him just to signify that oh, okay, this person probably knows somebody that is also an official of the government, yeah. so that police don't don't stop me because they're always stopping you. 
from yeah. Daniel Lagos and Eric Hansi. That's why we had the whole NSAS protest thing. I don't know if you heard about that. Oh. It went worldwide. Like we had a protest against police brutality in Nigeria. Oh, yeah. It was a serious thing that happened. So, so basically, it's an anti bribery talisman. Exactly. Like you just hold it up and they're like, oh, <laughs> this is a special one. We <laughs> exactly. must back down. <laughs> there will be no chop today. <laughs> Nice so, <laughs> Mari. Wait, well, let me get this right. <laughs> Maria, Maria later. Maria later, yeah. yeah Maria yeah. later. There we go. <laughs> okay, now nice, nice hanging with you guys. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. You're fine. Bye. Yeah. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah. Let's go see some more rich stuff. So we've just stepped into this uh, expensive shopping mall and uh, this is the situation. <laughs> you need a flashlight to shop in here. No, electricity light. I don't know. I think let me put a flashlight. Yeah. Extremely common situation in Nigeria. You'll have at least two blackouts every day, no matter where you're staying. Oh. Five seconds later, it's back. So it's about 11.30 right now and Nigeria may have the most interesting curfew in the entire world and also arguably probably the least effective <laughs> because it goes starting from 12 a.m. and ending at 4 a.m. That is one curfew that I, <laughs> when I saw for the first time I literally burst out laughing because it kind of just seems it was meant to help Nigerians get to the club at 12, stay there for four hours, and then go back home. So if you're wondering what this is, this is called an Ankara. And it's like traditional Nigerian dress. But it's not just for like ceremonial occasions or holidays or anything like that. You can actually wear it any time of the day, any day of the week. And it's especially good for clubbing. And on this night, I have in particular in Ankara that is good for nightlife. Makes me look very manly. <laughs> and no, this is not cultural appropriation or anything stupid like that. Yeah, and the best thing about Nigeria <laughs> is that you can use these for both men and women. Yeah. This comes from the same cloth. Two for one deal. Two for one. <laughs> yeah. Except like there's a slight design difference on hers. Yeah. I don't know if you can see the difference, but yeah. I just love the design that I chose. Looks so comfortable with this, like, I don't know, it's just okay. Yeah. It's just nice, I like it. There I go. Oh. Yeah, so. Yeah, fresh. Yeah, fresh. Yeah. Like a proper Yoruba man. Yoruba Nibala. Yoruba yeah. Oh, yes, you're a man. Yes, yes, I love that. You're a man. Yeah. Who are you, man? Me? Uh, uh, I'm not your yes, man. Yes, uh, I'm from Uganda. Uganda, yeah, East Africa. Yes. Uganda is a fine nation. What a fucking game. Yeah, I'm from. <laughs> you know who is fucking game? Yes, in, in, in Rwanda. We fucking game in Rwanda. You know fucking game? Yes. So that's why I'm a fucking game in Rwanda. <laughs> What? Are you shocked that I'm from Uganda? No, no, yeah. no, no. Uganda is a fine yeah. East African so, you know, country. Uh, yeah. I was looking at you, I was telling at you. Uh -huh. Because Uganda and Nigeria, we, we look similar. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. So I look like Nigeria? Yeah, exactly. you look like a Nigerian. Woo! Yeah. Oh my oh, God. <laughs> Thank you. And, and you look like an American too. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, you look like everything. Oh yeah. my God, so I Oh, you speak Chinese. Uh, I actually do speak Chinese. Uh, no, no, you can't speak Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> can't be open that up. Okay, have yeah, a yeah, seat. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Past the police 
checkpoint at 2 a.m. That cop was your classmate? Not classmate. He's your classmate. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's how we got through? I'm not so special. So you didn't have to sort him out? <laughs> no, that's good. Good to know. <laughs> You relax here. Is, no, wait, wait, wait. This area is very. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't go far. It's dangerous. Mm, don't go far. Yeah, okay. Don't go mm. far. Okay. Don't go far. Okay. Don't go far. Okay. Don't go far. Just, maybe just walk over here. Is that okay? Okay. Don't go far. Okay. Don't go far. You are a stranger here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's not really anywhere to walk around here. I wonder if this is another government farm settlement. Kind of looks like it. Bawani. Oh, there's a person there? Mm. Oh, hi. <laughs> Bawani. Um, I'm an English man. You're yeah, an American man. I'm an American man. Yeah. yeah. You are an American man. <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm a Nigerian you are man. Him. You're a Nigerian man. Yes. American oh, okay. Nigerian. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> You're from America. I'm from America, Nigeria. Yeah. Which state are you from? I'm from Benin. Hmm? Oh, Benin? Like Benin City? That was a vegetable. Uh, like you eat it? Chop. Oh, okay. We use amala to cook. Ah. Okay. What do you do here? You farmer? Yeah, uh, farmer. Oh, okay. Is this built by the government? We are no government. Oh, it's just private. Private. Okay. Do you mind if I ask, how much does it cost to stay here? How much? Yeah, how much money per month? One five. One five. Yeah. One thousand five hundred naira. Yeah. One thousand five hundred naira per month. Yeah. Wow. There is no light now. If there is light. Oh, you don't have electricity. Yeah. Oh, there's no electricity. It's generator. Okay. There's no generator. Oh, okay. You use generator. You don't have There's no generator. No, they, yeah? they oh. have generator, but they don't have. They have generator. Don't have lights. Don't have Nepal lights. Oh wow, <laughs> that's crazy. So One thousand five hundred. If I only have electricity, how much do you pay? Two thousand. Oh, two thousand. Okay, if you have electricity, you pay two thousand. So how much do you earn? One month. Yeah. Eighteen thousand. Eighteen thousand. Oh. Eighteen thousand. Okay. Five it's not per month. It's per month. Uh, you earn eighteen thousand per year. You earn eighteen thousand per year. Eighteen thousand naira. Per year. What? <laughs> That's crazy. That's something like what? That's about thirty six dollars. That can't be eighteen thousand per year. Oh man. Yeah. But from farming. Huh? From, from far farming? Anybody. Oh, uh, from anything. Uh, anybody. Okay. Anybody from Look like this one. The guy is riding Okada. Mm, yeah. The, uh, the, the next one. He's doing taxi driver. Yeah. What do you think of it? So how much does he earn as a taxi driver? It's the same amount. Like you? Yeah. Oh. oh, okay. So you do boater driving, taxi driving. So you stay with your wife or alone? I'm alone. Not married. Okay. Wow. Good luck. We're going back to drink palm wine. Do you drink palm wine? What is palm wine? We don't use it in palm wine. Palm, palm wine. wine. M.A. Fum Fum. Oh yeah. Where is it? <laughs> yeah, it's over there. Let me put my thing. If you want a glass, you come with us. Come to that place. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you made friends when you've gone, so it's better you come now. I won't shake it. Kini, I won't shake.
So those are some very big machetes that you have right there. Okay. Bye. Those are the least talkative African children I think I've ever seen. What's your name? David. David, okay. I'm gonna go treat David to a glass of palm wine. I'm looking for work. You're looking for work? Where do you want to work? Same with you. In America. Ship? In America? America is too far. I agree. America is too far. I love Nigeria too much. Are there jobs in Ibadan? Ah, uh, are the jobs. Plenty of jobs. Plenty of jobs? Okay. Do you want to live in Ibadan? Yeah. I'm not going anywhere in Ibadan. Okay. You don't want to live in Ibadan. Even you don't want to go to Lagos. They will pay us mm -hmm. 3,000 a day. How much are they going to pay us? New friend. Yeah, new friend. <laughs> <laughs> Only new friend. 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 That's a I took that to go. You said 1,000. 1,000? Okay. So we are going now. We're going now. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Sababa. Until next time. Uh, give me something. What should happen? Give me something. What if I don't have okay. it? Why? Yeah? Okay. Thank you. Okay, I'll come. Yeah, that's, that's enough. enough. That's, that's okay. enough for you. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye -bye. <laughs> okay, now you're happy. On need doom. On need doom. Bye. We can't go on public transportation in Nigeria without seeing at least one fight. Of course. I don't know yet. Wait, why are we stopping again? Driver, she go for it last time. This one be low, low. We don't like all these stupid ass people and things. Ah, but you may say, you may say, you may say. I literally do not know why the driver got out of the car. Even I don't know why. Like the bus is completely full. Driver, who got your coat? Who got your hair? You go. Hey, 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 go. Okay. Now after mysteriously disappearing for another 10 minutes, the driver is back. And uh, everybody's pretty angry. It's gonna be a fun bus ride back to Lagos. driver literally just drove into incoming traffic in order to take a shortcut. Nigeria.
see a lot in Nigeria. Lord, <laughs> you do see a lot of things out here. <laughs> We're trying to get our windshield wiper fixed and moving traffic. <laughs> Nigerian traffic did not kill this man. I get shot they all know who you talk. Right back. Now turn six days here. Oh yeah, I change it. I know the size. You want you remove Google? Go, wipe back there guys. Chill, Webber. I'm at the airport in Lagos, and it's absolute chaos here. I've already bribed two people. Continue your movement, please. The rate of cardiac arrest in this country must be off the charts. The level of stress you go through. Two hours later, I'm checked in. And I'm almost at the gate for my flight. Oh man, you know, I've been around the world and I've never seen an airport as insane as this one you have here in Lagos. And by that I mean, it's extremely corrupt. Picture corruption, okay? The Nigerian airport, the Lagos airport, is that very definition of corruption that would pop up in the dictionary. Literally everywhere, literally everything here. Coming in, you don't want to wait online for your COVID test, oh, pay this guy. You don't want to have your bags checked, pay this guy. You want to cut the passport line, pay this guy. You want to bring your Red Bull through security, pay this guy. You want to get some crazy British Airways employee off your back who thinks that you were specifically filming him when you're just trying to film yourself, check it in. Pay that guy. Oh my God. This is very draining and very stressful here. My friends, Nigeria is not for the faint hearted. Go to East Africa for that. This is next level. Yeah, so anyway, this is probably Which flag, sir? Uh, British Airways. Okay. okay, thank you. A nice, peaceful, non corrupt interaction with an employee of the Lagos Airport. Okay, this will probably be my last recording from Nigeria for a while. It's not my last recording from Nigeria ever. Unfortunately, on this trip, I only had 30 days. It's not that easy to get like a, an extended visa. So I only really made it around Yoruba land, Lagos and the surrounding areas, Ibadan. But the way I think about it, 
Nigeria is basically three different countries, or maybe even more. But you know, you have the three major tribes. You have the Yoruba, the Hausa, and the Igbo. I didn't get to spend that much time with the Igbo in the house, unfortunately. So, definitely, barring unforeseen circumstances, I will be back for part two and a part three of Nigeria. <laughs> but for now, my God, this country is stressful <laughs> and I need a break. <sighs> I think I'm gonna have to do this country in 30 men, what am I saying, 30 day installments. <laughs> Just a bit at a time. Oh. So anyway, about to sign off. Josie already left on another flight going towards Kenya and then on to Uganda. Me, I'm going towards London, then back to New York. I'm leaving Africa for a bit. I'm not leaving Africa forever. I'll be back. But anyway, Nigeria, it's been real. This country. I have never seen a country like Nigeria before. In so many ways. What up?